Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial with iClone 3D and today we're going to look at how to use the motion puppet in iClone 8. So if we simply go over to your content tab and click on packs, go into your characters here and we can choose any actor. Uh, we'll just go with this actor here, Kevin, who's actually built up uh, like a mechanical robot in some way. So if we uh, click on our character and then in the top right in the modifier panel, we can go on to our motion panel here. And if we just scroll down to the first tab, which is called motion puppet now, really cool tool where you can actually add some basic motion to your character and get him up and ready for performance in no time. So what you want to do is you want to pick one, you might choose dance, and you go down to here and preview it and hit the space bar and that will preview it. And whilst it's previewing, you can change the exaggeration. You can make it more exaggerated just to kind of get the feel of what you want. Slower, faster, etc. Uh, in this tab here, they've got um, some small tweaks that you can do in terms of kind of the other body parts. I don't usually tend to mess around with that too much, but it's all stuff that you can do to change and tweak that motion. Now you can test out loads of different motions. They've got different mood motions here. So they've got angry and you can change the exaggeration on that. And you could just try out loads of different ones and see what suits your scene. Now, another great thing about the motion puppet is this little mask tool down here. And what this does it is actually a great tool when you wanna blend and mix different motions. Cause you could, for example, go to, go to your motions tab. I'll just give you a quick example. You can add, an idol, for example. And now you see your character is idle. Now, if you wanted to put another motion on top of that from the beginning, it would overwrite that normally. But if we go here to the motion tab and we simply click on our mask section, we can actually choose what parts of the body we want to mask out. So if you wanted to keep the upper movement, but you wanted to, or you wanted to keep the leg movement and the head movement, but you wanted to change what the arms do, you could effectively just take out the head and the arms and that will mask out those sections. So now if we went back to angry and we hit preview, you can see he's still got the leg movement, but it's a whole different upper movement now. And he's still got the same head movement that he had on that last motion you put on, but he's now got a different upper body movement in terms of his arms, etc. And if you now change that to the legs and you kind of key out the arms, you'll see the difference here. It will do what it does in the last motion. So that is just a really cool way you can actually blend different motions together and get an overall look and feel for your scene. So that kind of concludes this tutorial guys. It was just a really quick one on how you can use that motion puppet in your scenes and how simple it is to kind of just click on anyone, click preview and then preview that. As soon as you're ready to record it, you hit record and that will record that motion there in the timeline, as you can see, puppet clip. That is that motion then recorded onto your timeline. So hope that helps. Hope that helps some of you be creative and get your creative juices flowing. And hopefully see you soon for another tutorial.